guys. Hmm. Right. <clears throat> Back to the 23rd century. <laughs> I'm playing Sims 4. All right. And I'm basically creating a building mm. There's going to be a school for vampires. All oh, right, vampire school. Ah. Yeah, I am a smarty pants. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm uh, proud of it. <laughs> what are you? Wait, does Rich have his microphone through the have his sound through the speakers? All oh, right, no wonder it's so fucking noisy over there. <clears throat> well, off to the twenty third century it is, and not fuck. Try not to fuck up the timeline. Welcome to. Oh, I'll tell you something, uh, Striker. Yeah. There's one minute mission I think you might like. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, it's the one where you get to go to Bespy. Mm -hmm. The Bespy system. Because there's a certain maneuver that Kirk did in the films that you get to recreate. Wait, do you mean like in the? Do you mean the? You don't mean the one in the Wrath of Khan, do you? Nope. Hmm. It's called the Slingshot Maneuver. Oh, right, right. I thought it was called the Kirk Maneuver. <laughs> or did they call it the Kirk Maneuver? No, they didn't call it the Kirk Maneuver. They called it the Slingshot Maneuver. Hmm. Because you slingshot hmm. around the sun, <clears throat> a sun, hmm. to go back in time. What, go round and round and round? No. Think of it like a horseshoe shaped fly <laughs> right, right. around the sun, mm. using the gravitational pull of the sun mm. to literally fly through time. Can you do that whenever you want? Because that'd be really great. Uh, it was only ever done in one, in one Star Trek film. Hmm. And that was, hmm. it was either the Voyage Home. Right. What's the motion picture? Yeah, I think picture? it was the Voyage Home. What, you mean the motion picture? Yep. All right, The motion picture, the Voyage Home. All right. All right. Okay. The motion picture, the Voyage Home. Okay. Okay. Off to the 23rd century. The original series. And the thing is that that meant that they were basically going into into temporal parts of okay. time. <clears throat> okay. Oh, cracky. Loading Drozana Station, 23rd century. <clears throat> That's when it was in its A day. Alice, do you are? Palace Dracula. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a new day. 
Okay. okay, we're in the past. We're in the 23rd century. Now I'm gonna transport. Oh yeah, I did pick up something. I don't know what it was. Uh. <clears throat> a trionic pattern enhancer. Okay. 23rd century, let's just not mess with anything. Yep, it's all very 60s around here. What? Yeah, I mean, it's all very 60s around here. You've got to admit, it does look nice. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, uh... So, what do you think, Kit? Well, it's definitely old school. Uh, old dials. I'm just... That's nice. I'm just trying to be careful. Last thing I want to do is mess up the timeline. Okay, let's... Yeah. Duotronic computers have a memory fault that makes them susceptible to overloads. There's an infamous 24th century warp geom geometry problem that would be insoluble with the processing power available to this computer. A memory override. Okay! Lovely. What's up? Memory bank three. Where is it, baby? Where is it? Where is it? How did anybody even understand this? Just a bunch of flashing lights. All this, sick, all these 60s style, 23rd century technology is all just a bunch of flashing lights on a panel. <laughs> there! <clears throat> the swimming area? The training area? Um, the other training area more for socializing. Oh, cock. And then, I just want to... <laughs> the training garden. And Though most schools are in out in the open. Come on, come on. We're the 23rd century. You've got to be fast, 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 but you can't because I'm not sure what to do. Bloody 23rd century technology. Uh, Striker. Yes. I'm going to send you a few screenshots here, yeah. yeah. and they are of Palace Dracul. Okay. Mm. 
Right, um... We've only got a 23rd century visitor. Oh, come on, what was supposed to? Absolutely. <laughs> Where's the other? Where's the other? How many bloody consoles do I need? The pusher. The raging star. Come on, 23rd century technology, please just work with me here. Work with me here. Are you ready? Right. No, that's the concept. Come on, why won't you just do something, oh. please? <laughs> please! Jack. Nothing here. Please! <laughs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay, okay well. That's a console for Bank 3. Yeah, well, seriously, where's a bloody console for Bank 3? I'm going to be stuck here all day. I'm going to be stuck in the past and I won't be able to do anything about it. I'm going to have to live in the 23rd century. Live out the rest of our lives until we're dead. And there's nothing we can do about it. Because I'm not sure what to fucking do. Sort out this bloody 23rd century nonsense. Uh, wait a minute, what if I have. Uh... Doing this all day, all day, all day. What to do, what to do, what to do? Come on, what the fuck am I gonna do? Seriously, uh, uh, right, Bev, I need help here. How do you overflow memory bank three? What? Because I'm not seeing another console around here. Uh, you should see one with a girl standing by it. Ah, oh, damn it! There's one. There's one here. <gasps> yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, first things first, just a stack. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh god. What? Uh, uh, you know our weapons, they're set to stun, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh good. Because I don't want to have to kill anyone. Sorry! They are set to stun on that mission and they will just knock them out. Why not? I just... Okay, well, it, this guy's just standing there. I shot him with a, um, uh, a disruptor beam. I, I just shot him with a, a disruptor pulse, and I was just standing there. Uh, sometimes they can get paralysed. Right. <clears throat> We ship, we might be able to sneak past them or even lock them in one of the side rooms. Okay. <coughs> I'd lock them in one of the side rooms. How are we going to do that? There should be a console next to the door. Oh, yeah. Lock the door. this guy? Where is this? When's he coming back? Seriously, does it take a while for these patrollees to come back? Yeah. Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Run away, run away, run away. Just run away! Uh, don't mess up the timeline. Don't mess up the timeline. Don't mess up the timeline, Reiko. There we go, lock that old bitch in there. Lock him in, lock him in, lock him in, in, in. Lock the door, lock the door. Why is it? Why is it not locked? Uh, it won't, I don't know. The door won't close. The door won't uh, close. You've got to wait. If you, if you lock it, uh, if you basically click it twice, click it more than once, it will unlock. Shit. What? Uh, they can open the door. I didn't know that. Shit. I thought we'd lock him in and I'd be in the end of that. I'd... Oh, God. After you lock the door, mm -hmm. run like hell. I don't want to, it will don't... take him a while. Hmm. Seriously, what the hell happened to this station? In the 23rd century, it's so clean. But in the 24th century, it looks so shit. Let me just say this. Uh, the, uh, because of the... But because of the war between the Federation and the Klingons, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, which was known as the Sorry, I've got Four a Years' War, the Federation had to pull back and leave some of their stations. Sorry, I gotta, sh I gotta shoot you. <clears throat> Stop using your '60s phaser on me. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Yeah, they just used their 60s phasers on me. Oh, wait. Oh, good, he's still alive. He's still moving. <coughs> he's still breathing. Uh, God, I'm shit at this. <laughs> Is there anybody in here? What would happen if I were to stun too many people?
I mean, is there a penalty for stunning too many people? No, basically, uh, as soon as you st unstun them, yeah, yeah, and you go back to your normal timeline, you they, it should re it should write time rightly so that the <laughs> they will just get. Alright. Okay, uh. Uh, what am I supposed to do about this woman? Uh, she's just standing there in the console, but I've got to get her away from the console. What do I do? I can't exactly just uh, If walk you walk up to her, you can just knock her out. Oh. How? By talking to her? Uh, you should, if, as soon as you get close, you should oh, see it. Oh, yeah! You should see it. Knock out. Yep, knock out. Alright. For your own good. <clears throat> okay, so uh... uh, three pictures should be coming through sometime, three. sometime, some. <clears throat> Ow. <clears throat> okay, so blah blah blah. Okay, disable. All right, so disable all power taps before servicing. Discharge. You're on that mission. Yeah, uh, with this console, there's touch the static discharge play, unlock safety cage, remove computer monitor, but and disconnect power. I think I should just dis disconnect the power first. Disconnect the power first. Yeah. But then we don't. Them out again. Sorry. I mean, after you've disconnected the power, tell me what you can, uh, it says. Okay, so disable all power taps before servicing. Discharge static electricity before contact with lead. So, the static discharge plate. Mm. I don't know. Warning: improper access may cause injury and/or death. Oh, we certainly don't need that. We're in the 23rd century. They find this technology. The timeline is fucked. Um... Right. Disconnect the power. Yeah. What about the monitor? Should I remove the monitor? After uh... that... No. The power. Okay. Well, I've, I've, I've taken out the power. There's a safety yeah, cage. Take Read them down to me, the choices. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so unlock safety cage, touch static discharge plate, and remove computer monitor, and start over. Well, uh, touch. Do the touch one. Static discharge. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then there's remove computer monitor and unlock safety cage. Remo unlock safety cage, then the monitor. And then remove monitor. Okay, got it. Oh bloody hell! How do you work? How do people work this thing? Twenty third century that, technology. Well, that there yeah. is me. Doing that mission over and over and over until I could do that what that little bit without fail. Oh yeah, because you can't mess you up. You're in you're in the past. Messed up the timeline. <laughs> so up. what do you think of that for me knowing for yeah. me remembering that? Oh yeah, I'm glad you did. <laughs> is my memory good? Or is my memory good? I think it is good. <laughs> Oh, have a look at that pig, that house when you get the chance. You know when they made this game, I wonder why they didn't... Anyway, I wonder why they didn't do it in the Kelvin Universe style. Uh, because they... Because they're not in the Kelvin timeline? They're in the Prime timeline? Hmm. 
Well, then again, they would have been uh, more 60s style about everything. And more serious. Oh. Uh, oh, God, that door doesn't open. I didn't want to go there anyway. I mean, who knows? There's a mess hall that's probably full of people. <clears throat> what level are you now? Uh, uh, I've just taken the ma I've just taken the maintenance lift. What level are you? I said. Uh, fifteen, I think. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, rank fifteen. Oh. Fancy a teammate. Climb through the Jeffrey's tube. Okay. Yeah. That'll allow you to sneak past us some of it. Well, yeah, because last thing we need is a, a rumble with the team and... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, um... Right, how do I sneak past an ensign? Because... Uh... You see the crates, you've got to hug them. Hug over towards the crates. Hmm. Uh... Can I just walk up to them and knock them out? Because they're highlighted in red. No, you can't. Don't, not those ones. <gasps> Don't you fucking dare look this way, you bitch. Damn it! Don't gonna get me punch me! You 60s bastard! As I said, do you want a teammate? On the next mission. Oh bloody hell. Oh bloody hell, are you people from the 60s? Oh god. What? Why do I deal with these 60s oh, that... people that are dressed like hippies? Why do you people dress like that? You like dressing like hippies. Future hippies. As I said, do you want a teammate next uh, on your next mission? Yeah, probably. Uh, uh, roll. Then I think it's about time. Racky? Me? Is it Racky? What's the name of your character again? Iraqi. How about Ikari? Iraqi. No, how about Ikari? Ikari. Ikari? Yes, Ikari me, for me. anger. Yes, Ikari for anger. Well, Ikari meets Azumi. Okay. Hello, Azumi. Ikari meets Azumi. Hello, Azumi. Well, not yet, anyway. Well, I'll tell you something. When you see my ship, I, yeah. you may think this is absolutely strange, yeah? Yeah. I'm a engineer, and engineers are meant to go with cruisers. But I have a preference for the escorts. Okay, this blue field keeps coming over. It will do. Is there any way to... Walk along and for God's sake! I was supposed Destiny to. Destiny Ascension? Oh, damn it, it's a Vulcan! Damn the. Damn the Vulcan hearing! Why could Vulcans hear so well? Because they do? They've got, they've got bloody good ears. I was gonna knock him out! But I can't exactly notice his ears, he look, basically looks like a human, apart from the ears. Okay, well, I can't exactly get past Starfleet security, so I'm going to have to stun them and possibly risk messing up the timeline badly. I've got no choice now. So well, what, what, what am I going to do? I can't, I can't get past them, so I'll probably have to shoot them. Yeah, you will have to. Sometimes okay. Sorry. shooting them is cannot be avoided. 
It cannot be avoided sometimes. Ah, uh, wait a minute. They're not doing anything. Okay, okay then. Well, don't mind me. I'll just uh, be uh, tinkering with this terminal and possibly doing something illegal in your eyes. Uh, thank you for minding your own business. Okay, they're just minding their own business. They don't care. Maybe they're high. I mean, it is 60s. I mean, I mean, they are dressed like the 60s. They're probably on drugs. I mean, bloody hell, look at all this 60s tech. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to stun ya. Stun ya. I think you've never seen a disruptor before. Ah, oh, why have they got so powerful? Help! Ah! Ah! Why have they got such powerful what? Oh wait, okay, uh, bruh, bruh. Why have they got such powerful phasers? Because they just have. <laughs> they took me down and I didn't have enough time to get a hypo. Well, once you're through that mission, how about me teaming up with you? Okay. Is it everything old is new that you're on? Uh... Uh, yeah, I think it's everything is something about... Wait a minute. Oh yeah, everything old is new. Then, Knight of the Comet should be your next one. Hmm. I... Why do Vulcans have such good, good hearing? Because they do. I know, it's those bloody pointy ears. It's like wearing a fucking pair of antennas. Oh god, it's McCoy. You uh, can't hold this bit. Oh great, I've got to walk in front of Dr. McCoy. Next thing you're going to go, oh, oh, Dr. McCoy, you're the best doctor I've ever heard of. May I have your autograph? <laughs> Oh shit, it's... Oh shit. I could help you on this bit as well. Okay, uh, okay, alright, I'm talking to him and, uh... Okay, um... He does not notice anything weird about me. He doesn't notice the weapon. He doesn't even notice the clothing. I mean, seriously, in the 23rd century, how often did you see anybody walking around in uh, glossy leather suits? Like mine. Uh, well, Klingons do. Uh. Okay, but what about with a hexagonal pattern on it? <clears throat> Hexagonal pattern. All right. Ah, strange blue flashes. Okay, yeah, I'm talking to Bones, and basically these divinians they've come from the future and into the past, and now strange blue flashes of light, which is basically what they are. Oh, their brains are gone. Yes. Yeah, that's triolic radiation. If I can get me some good pulse freezers. That would be good. I need some good base gun. Oh dear, we get to work with Dr. McCoy. Uh,
Okay, I get. I've got to work with Doctor McCoy. Uh. Actually, uh, just a minute. Uh. Just a minute. Uh. Da -da -da -da. Yeah? Wait a minute, uh, I'm just gonna see if I could... How do I get a uh, zoom out of my character's clothing? Uh, you know what, I'll send you two pictures. Okay, I'll send you two pictures and I'll ask you a question. Okay, it's not uh, through yet. Probably take a while to come through. even worse. What? Oh, you know, like 58 millivolts. Uh, go for... Uh... Right. Uh, Are you on that mission where you've got this? <clears throat> okay, so set the voltage for the resting potential, which is 70 millivolts, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's normal. And now the acting potential. Oh wait, action potential. Hmm. Uh, you should do one of them to thirty, one of them to seventy, and then you should do the bottom right at the bottom. Well, okay, so the action. Po wait a minute. Uh. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> right. Normal human neural resting potential, 70 millivolts. Normal human neural activity, plus 30 millivolts. Minus 30 millivolts, plus 30. Right. That. That. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, the sodium. Positively charged sodium ions exterior and positively charged potassium ions interior. Oh, oh god. Oh god. What? That's the science to figure out. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I mean, I've done science. But it's just so confusing. Go, I said go right down at the bottom. Right, sodium, external, potassium. Alright. Okay. And you should be on <laughs> it. Right. Ah, it works, stuff. <clears throat>
Did it work? Uh, yeah, it worked. <laughs> do I know the missions or no? Yes. Do I know the missions? Yes. Station Commander Ke Ke something. Alright, Station Commander Kendra Reaver. She character on Star Trek? What? Kendra Reaver. Was she a character on the original Star Trek? Yeah. Yeah, short blonde hair. Okay, well, nobody's minding how I look. See, because I have a look a bit, well, mainly quite futuristic, because let's be honest. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, this station, Drozana Station, was an episode filmed here? Yep. Alright, oh, and uh, we're interrupting, well, we're technically barging in on an episode of Star Trek, the original series. We're barging, yeah. we're barging in. We're barging in. Some of the uh, missions that you get are actually Easter eggs <clears throat> yep. to the actual timeline of, Star of the original <clears throat> series. Uh, next thing you know, we'll make our way into the next generation. Uh, you do actually get to go into a couple of episodes of the... A couple of missions. Oh, and you right. do actually go into the next generation. Beep, 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 beep. Like, there is actually a mission where you actually uh, <clears throat> yeah. get to play out the, role, the later role hmm. of... The USS Defi USS Enterprise yeah. C, ah. and you get to fight in it. Ah. The Galaxy Glass Dolphin. Hmm. The Galaxy and. Alright, Temple of Bastards. Where you basically get... Oh, I just got some tribbles. Where you basically get... What? Temple Ambassador. Mm. And it's one where you basically get to go back and to go, to go to a different timeline. Mm. And you basically have to save the crew of the, the part of the USS Enterprise mm. from a alternate timeline where the mm. Tholians won. And rewrite the timeline back to the way it was. Time where travel. the Federation. Where that ship goes back in time and saves a space station and. It, this is. Time travel messes with my head. <clears throat> Why? Isn't it does. So time travel messes with your head. Oh dear. Well. Okay, we've absorbed so much triolic radiation at this point that travelling through a gate again could cause radiation poisoning, so we need some some hyro hyronilla. Some hyronalin or something. Yeah. Okay, the next time we deal with something like this, get Get a lead-lined case of <laughs> pyronolian. I mean, hyra hyronalin. Make sure it's yeah. lead. Make sure it's lead-lined. Yeah. <clears throat> Tell you something. I'm just travelling through space. Okay, so he's just mine. Okay, so McCoy is not gonna barge our business. 
Because as you said, never look nope. a gift ho horse in the mouth. Nope. Okay, let's just get out of here. Get out of here before we mess anything else up. Get out of here! On the next mission, do you fancy a teammate? Hmm. Wait, 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 let's just continue. Okay, sure. Oh, look, Jennifer Picard. Huh. That's a big phaser. What are those big black phasers? With loads of lights on the top of it. How's one big phaser? Uh, you know what? Before I go and join you on the next mission, right? I need to do something on the, you with, uh, with oh. Eureka Thurston. Oh. Uh, wait a minute! I'll just finish my twenty-third century visitor mission. I'll just, I'll just finish that one. Yeah. Yep. Just finish that one off, so I can get my points. Have a... Wait, what? Because I need to. Whoa, 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 what? Uh, uh, I don't know what's going on, but for some reason I'm redoing the... No, don't redo it. What am I... You ah! should, uh... No, no, what am I doing? Get me out of here, get me out of here! What am I doing? Uh, help, help, ah, oh, damn it. What? Right, I'm just stuck. Okay, uh... Ah, oh, damn it, I gotta do this all over again. What is going on? Why am I doing it again? Right. Don't know! Okay, I'm just gonna complete this. 